Well, it's good afternoon. Oh, it's afternoon again. Goodness gracious, I don't know how the days go. And um, Keith's outside having a cup of tea and a bag of crisps. Simple reason being, he's uh, um, he's wanting the one of the tubs that the big lilies are in. So he's pulled that out, all the soil in the lilies, and uh, he's encountered a ant's nest. Well, my goodness gracious, I jumped out of the way quick. And he got the ant spray. Right, so what am I doing here? Let me show you. Is that the right way? Vetchiana. Okay, now Vetchiana is outside. And can you see that? That's what it's potted in. It's potted in uh, odds and sods. It looks like bark and a bit of charcoal and lots and lots of perlite. And it's in one of these little pots. So I think I had six of these pots, you know. And uh, so what I've done this morning, where's my cloth? Oh, I have to have my cloth. I can't do without my cloth. Right, and back. So what I've done this morning, and that's why I needed my cloth. Can you see? See these little pots? And uh, that's the same size as that one. Um that I've just shown you, that I've taken this fetch yarn out. Now which was the nicest one? Oh this was the nicest one. This was the nicest one. I got it, I, I got, um, I got it right in the end. But you, and I think I've got three more to do. But with that drill being so heavy, and these being smaller, these were a lot harder to do, I tell you, than that big one. And uh, so I've only managed to do three, and I did. Uh, I used a different um, circular drill head, um, and I do believe, I mean, me being a novice, that um, it takes them a little while to, to um, sharpen themselves. I think that's a daft word, isn't it, really? But you know what I mean. So when I first started off. Um, which one was it when I first started off? Hold on, let me show you. When I first started off. Oh yeah, you see. I had one or two mishaps. See, can you see? I just couldn't get it to bed in. Anyway, yeah. Eventually I did. So, I've got three of these now. And that means I've got three pots that um, I need to transfer into these simply because... I want to do the other three. And the other one's got, so there's two, one's got Vetch, uh, this is Vetchiana, one's got Ignig, Ignigni, uh, Ignigni, oh I can't say it, let me get the label, Ignia, <laughs> Ignia, there we go, Ignia, okay, that Ignia's in this bowl, you, you won't see it, and it's in this bowl with some coconut husk, and um, I'll do that one in a minute. And let me get my scissors. You notice I've got gloves on, that's because I've been in the garden. Right, now, um, some people might think, well, what are you using coconut husk for? I quite like coconut husk. The thing is, you've got to have enough um, air circulation because the roots love it but it does hold a lot of water so that's hence my reason for all that crocking and there's plenty of holes and I do believe let's have a look at these roots here because I might have to trim one or two but see Lou can you see nice roots that are coming down now That's in there for us, a little stick. And I've got new growths, plenty of new growths coming through, but these are outside. I see plenty inside there. Look at the roots. Um, there you see, growths. But what I have to be careful with are the darn slugs. Well, it's not so much the slugs, it's those bush snails. So what I'm going, can you see all this? Um, 
these dead roots here. And uh, so I thought, well, how do I feel about putting it in coconut husk? Because, uh, you know, um, Mazda Valleys hate to be wet. In fact, they can't be wet during the winter. Um, especially our winters. But then I thought to myself, well, if I've got enough air holes um, in the pot, see, can you see that nice little root? There. If I've got enough, oh, <laughs> don't knock the camera over, Margaret, you did that yesterday. If I've got enough air roots, um, air, sorry, air to get around the roots, then I should be okay. So I'm just going to, I'm not, I'm not going to disturb this too much. In the set, I'm only nipping those right off that are broken. You see, I've got I've got bark around here, so I don't want to put it under too much stress. I've got too many cracks in that one. So, I mean, we're in the garden, and uh, of course Keith does all the heavy work. And he's the project manager, because he has these visions. And the garden never stands still. Never. It's, uh... And he said, he said, well, it shouldn't. He said, a garden evolves. He says, and, you know, as you, uh... It's like as you go through life. As you go through life, you know, you... what you might have enjoyed doing when you were in your 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. Oh my goodness, I won't go any higher. Um, doesn't mean that uh, you're going to be liking the same things. So, um, right, now let me I don't know whether you're in vision here because uh, what I'm just trying to do is uh, just snip the ends off any that I see that I've got one or two cracks in and I'm trying not to there we go, see sorry about that I mean, uh, you know I'm trying to do it and, and forget that you're not in focus so, I got the drill bit this morning, and uh, I just thought, well, somebody said wear glasses, uh, goggles, somebody said wear gloves, so I got the gloves out, and then I thought, well, if I put goggles on, I haven't got any anyway, but if I did, they'd have to go over my glasses, because I wear very focals. And if I take my glasses off, um, it's not that I can't see, but uh, um, I don't know whether they'd adapt. So, you know, all these safety things that you're supposed to do. Anyway, so I thought, well, oh dear, what we should and what we shouldn't do. That's why it's called accidents. That's why people have accidents. And then after, people say, oh yes, <laughs> yeah, well, been there, seen it, done it, got the t-shirt. Okay, that's a nice root, can you see? Got a dead uh, leaf here, can you see that dead leaf there? Now let's see. I suppose, really, I should um, actually... I can't do it now because it's. I've had it um, in water, haven't I? I could have put some hydrogen peroxide. Anyway, well, never mind. Let's have a look what we're dealing with now. See that root there was brown, and then it's sent an extension out now. And they've been outside, you know, for a couple of months, I think it is. And. 
picture than watching them. Um, and they've come to no harm, but they don't like this warm weather. So um, I think what they've done when we've had this warm weather is they've just uh, slowed. So let's see if there's anything else. Where's that one coming from? Okay, so which one am I going to I'm going to put it in this one. Oh, let me see. Now I've got, the, I've got hydrogen balls there and I'm just going to put, just to cover those hydrogen balls, um, just a thin layer of that coconut husk. You see that thin layer of coconut husk? And then I'm going to sit this down on that. Now, will any of the roots come outside? I have no idea. Probably they will. I have no idea. But now, what I've got to do now is uh, try and manoeuvre pieces of coconut down here. Bearing in mind, um, I've got holes now. Oh, was that covering your vision then? I do apologise if I was. And some of this coconut, it has like a front side and a back side. So, uh, and some are bigger. But you see, I can't, I can't. What I can't do is uh, <coughs> put too much pressure against those newly emerging roots because me with my clumsy hands, I will uh, I'll break some of them. See how they're going down now. So let's just do a few more. Let's put a few more pieces in. And then we've got any smaller pieces. Oop. I can just manoeuvre down. I mean, I've got the um, Dendrobium delicatum, the uh, the old canes. I've got them in coconut husk, but what we've had torrential rain. But what I don't do with those is I don't um, I don't have it outside in the. It is outside, but I don't have it outside in the sense it's, it's going to receive the downpours. Right. Okay. I've not got any holes. Can you see? There. Let's see if I can manoeuvre a little piece down there. Let's see. Can you see? Can you, you can see the root and there's that piece of coconut husk. So, let's see. Anyway, I've got plenty of coconut husk here because it's coming out. I've got a hole there. Now let's see if I can just push a little bit further down. I've got to be careful there because there's, uh, there's a nice, can you see those two nice roots? Got it in there, look. Got it down far enough. Okay. I don't know why I'm whispering, you know. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. Let's see, I think that 
that's enough. See that root there? That big one there. I'm just going to lay that there. That way. That's it. Right. Right. Okay. Perhaps lay another piece across here. And another piece across there. I'm hoping, hoping I've got enough to pop this other one up. Right, I'm gone. Right, how are we doing for time? Oh, where's my neighbor? I've got my neighbor back in. I'll actually put a date back on that in a minute. Fetch on it. Just messing I am. Right, ignore. I bet Jana and Ignia, um, of course, were from Mick. I'll make some other Devalias. Right, what a mess here. Okay. See, all that for that little bit of a root system. So there's far too much media. Far too much. Although we've got active roots. So let's have a look. Have we got many rotten roots? I don't think we have, you know. It's an old sheath, I think. See? Snail damage. Snail damage. Okay. And I've got a, a dead leaf. Well, I think we'll discard that one, shall we? But look, I've got nice little roots coming. Don't know why I'm holding on to these two things, but I'll hold, I'll hold on to them just a little bit longer. And uh, because it's got an even smaller root system, I'm going to put a little bit more hydrogen mold. So let's just put a little bit of uh, coconut husk at the bottom. There we go, can you see? Just to allow those roots to have something to bed into. There we go. And then There we go. Right. Let me see. No, I'm not. I'm out with the last one. Whatever's attached, I'm not. Uh, I'm not worried. I'm not taking it off. Just uh, leave him well alone. See the roots there? So there you see, can you see? Got a space there now. There. Let's see if I can, if I've got enough anyway. So drilling these holes, uh, it's an experience, it certainly is, and uh, 
as long as you you practice then everything's fine and you take every precaution of course there we go I mean the biggest the biggest fear is is, is fear <laughs> if that sounds stupid but it's your own fear you know everybody says oh you've got to do this and you've got to do that and you've got to do the other and I'm thinking oh my god I'm going to electrocute myself right let's have a look do we need to push any of this coconut husk down just to make things a little bit more secure I don't think so. I'm running short. I'm not running short of coconut tusk. I'm running short of um, wet coconut tusk. I don't put the dry. Don't like to put the dry in. Hold on. Just let me finish this bit. Right. So these two are finished now. New growth there. This is uh, Vetchana. These are going to go back outside. As you see that's quite that's quite a decent one. And this one, Ignea, just got a few black spots on the leaf there. Um, and you see, oh, we've got a little root coming out there. But uh, I've just put uh, next time when I've got some more um, coconut husk and soak, I might just take these top hydrogen balls off. There's another root, can you see? So that's that one. This is the one that I did uh, the other day and it cracked on me. Somebody said to me, get, um, I think it was Mick of Mix Maz Devalius, get Gorilla Glue, he said, and um, water-based. So Keith sent for some. Somebody else told me to get um, epoxy resin. Um, he uses that for his fish tanks. You see this? It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? A bit of a mess. But it's solid. And it, and it said, and I hardly put any on. And it said, you know, a, a little goes a long way. So I must have put too much on. Uh, and which plant is going in here? Let me just show you. This one. This is the, um, here we go, Leodora. And it's soaking in here. And I thought, well, this part is wider than this part. And I thought, this is going to be ideal. And then it can go back up into the grow room. So, I'm not showing you my scruffy kitchen. Okay, so that's it for today. I've got to drill some more holes um, in, hold on, well not more holes, I've got to drill holes in these tiny pots. Let me see the difference. And then you go to that side. Um, but now I realise which is the best way to do it. So um, I did three of these today. And then hopefully I can do maybe six of those tomorrow. So thank you for joining me. And it's busy here. It's busy here. So, um, but these jobs, we've got to get these jobs done, you see. Because, um, you know, we've got nice weather this week. And that will enable me to get some of these um, orchids settled for the winter. Look at that. The slug damage. Oh dear, never mind. Take care. Be back soon. Bye bye now.